Hello. We're going to look at how I can use Spellbook to draft language in a contract. Now, this is a client agreement. It's a pretty typical agreement and something that I work in quite a bit. In this case, Nuco is the party that's performing the work and they're doing it for their client, the Jane Doe agency. So it's common for Nuco to transfer ownership of the work product to the client. However, in this case, for whatever reason, the deal uh, terms were different. And instead of Nuco transferring the works, Nuco wanted to retain ownership. So what you could do here is uh, delete the default language, open up Spellbook, and use the directed draft feature. So you click this and it asks you what do you want it to write. And in this case, I'll paste in a, a short paragraph that I wrote right before starting this video, which is, I want it to write a provision that says Nuco will own the works and will grant a license to those works to the client. So let's see what it came up with. Nuco shall retain all right title and interest in and to all of its work created under this agreement. Okay, so good including all intellectual property in those works. And it even defines the phrase, the works. That's wonderful. Uh, Nuco hereby grants the client a worldwide, non-exclusive, non-transferable, so on and so on, license to use the work solely for the client's internal business purposes. I mean, that's spot on. It even defined the scope of the license. Then it goes on, let's see what else it says. The client may not use the works for any other purpose or in any other manner without Nuco's prior written approval. That's wonderful. That created a limitation on the license. I mean, that's just great. This did exactly what I wanted it to do. And I might make minor tweaks to the language like getting rid of the word of, but generally speaking, this is spot on and exactly what I would want. Okay, let's look at one more example. So in this case, a client might send me something that, you know, I wish I could turn into a full agreement because it's just so short, uh, like a three month consulting deal. But for whatever reason, I just, I can't do that. The client doesn't want it or, or whatever it might be. But I still want to add in a few protections for my client. So maybe I want to add in an entire agreement, no amendment and governing law provision. So in this case, I open Spellbook, I provide the header, and I can use the Spellbook shortcut, the three plus signs, to tell Spellbook that I want for it to draft me a provision based on that header that I provided. So let's just see what it came up with. All right, this agreement contains the entire agreement between the parties. That's wonderful. This looks very typical for a contract. Uh, this agreement may not be amended except uh, by a writing signed by both parties. Again, once uh, exactly what I would expect. And then this agreement shall be governed by the laws of the state of Colorado. And wonderful. The reason it pulls Colorado, I believe, is because it's a letter addressed to somebody in Colorado. So this did pretty much exactly what I wanted it to do. It, because this is a letter format, I'll delete the, the header that I had. Uh, and then I'm pretty much good to go.